Alright guys, today we are talking about the cell cycle. And if you watched the Ed Puzzle yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? So the cell cycle is basically the life of a cell. Okay? And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and so what I want you to do, I want you to write this into your notes and go ahead and make a big circle. Okay, and hopefully yours is neater than mine. And let's break it up into sections. Okay, so you're going to need three big sections here and then five smaller sections here. And let's just start by going through uh, the different parts. And so the first part of the cell cycle is called G1. Okay, and G1 is all about growth. So in G1 is where growth happens, okay? The next phase is called the S phase. And the S phase stands for synthesis. And it's synthesis of DNA. So this is actually where DNA is copied, okay? And so this is where the DNA is copied. Because remember, we're getting ready to split the cell, right? And so it's got to have twice the amount of DNA. And so this is where that happens. The next phase is G2, which is more growth. And it's getting ready to divide. And guys, these three together, these three phases, G1, S, and G2, make up interphase. We'll talk about another one in just a second. And so that is interphase. And so after G2, the cell is ready to divide. And so here is going to be mitosis. Mitosis. And mitosis is actually the division, not of the whole cell, but of the nucleus. So division of the nucleus. And so hopefully you're starting to pick up on this and you know that the first part is prophase and then metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. And guys, a good way to remember this order is p -mat. Okay, PMAT is just a little way to remember prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The last part is cytokinesis, and that is division of the cytoplasm. And that's the actual last kind of split of the cell, right? division of the cytoplasm. So that is the basics of the cell cycle. G1 is growth. S is synthesis of DNA, copying the DNA. G2 is more growth. And then we start mitosis, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. If this cell does not need to replicate, right? Not all cells need to replicate all the time. We'd be huge if all of our cells replicated all the time. And so some cells in your body, they don't need to replicate. And so they will actually, if they don't need to replicate, they will come out of G1 and go into G0, okay? Um, G0 is just kind of resting, doing their job. They are not getting ready to divide. And so let's just kind of just to make sure we're all really clear, let's go over all of those one more time. And so this time I'm just going to write them instead of a circle. But the cell cycle, we've got G1, which is growth. We've got S, which is synthesis of DNA. And remember, if you're putting these in, as you put these into your notes, you can stop this video at any time. We have G2, 
which is more growth. And these, along with sometimes, they go to G0 phase, right? Which is just functioning cells. They're not dividing, okay? And all of this together, so everything from here up is called interphase. And now we're going to talk about mitosis, which is the next part of the cell cycle. And here we have prophase, where the nucleus um, dissolves. Um, chromosomes form. If you remember from our packet, so we have prophase, then we have metaphase. They meet in the middle, the chromosomes meet in the middle. They line up. Anaphase away. So anaphase, the chromatids move away, they separate. and telophase, the two new nuclei form. And we've almost divided the cell, right? It's so close. And the very last thing after mitosis, and hopefully you can see it down here, is cytokinesis. And that is division of that cytoplasm. And so you've drawn it, you've seen it, um, that is the cell cycle.